Hi, my name's uh, Colin Gluting. I'm the manager of the Northeast Red Watershed District. Uh, a brief uh, intro about uh, myself and the district. I've been manager for approximately 12 years here. Uh, we were formerly known as the Cooks Creek Conservation District. Um, we're a partnership between the province of Manitoba, RMs of Springfield, Taché, uh, Reynolds, Brokenhead, and St. Anne. And collectively, uh, we work uh, mostly to do with surface water management. So uh, projects such as this, this, this retention site we're going to talk about today. Um, and just uh, in general, just water management, uh, groundwater management, surface water quality, uh, natural area preservation. Um, that's kind of our focus areas. Today I'm going to talk about uh, this particular project, uh, E.D. Creek. The E.D. Creek services a contributing drainage area of 90 kilometers squared. It's one of the larger creeks within our watershed. It flows into the Cooks Creek, which leads to the Red River and eventually Lake Winnipeg. The Edie Creek was often overwhelmed during spring melt and heavy rainfall, and this contributed to failing infrastructure as well as increased nutrient transfer to the downstream creeks and Lake Winnipeg. To address these issues, the RMS Springfield and Northeast Red Watershed District partnered to create three water retention sites and upgrade 18 culvert crossings along the Edie Creek. The project consists of constructing a diversion channel from the main stem of the Edie Creek to an existing water retention site. The diversion channel will be two kilometers in length and consists of a large culvert installation that will be armored with riprap for erosion control. The channel will be seeded with native grasses to provide a vegetated buffer and four acres of riparian area habitat. This project will allow the retention site to store an additional 30 acre feet of water. In 2015, the province of Manitoba partnered with the district as well as the RMs of Springfield, Taché, St. Anne, Reynolds, Brokenhead, East St. Paul, and the Peguis First Nation to create the Cooks Devil's Creek Integrated Watershed Management Plan. As part of the plan, the province used LIDAR to conduct a water retention study and have found that these water retention sites along the Edie Creek were underutilized. They could store more water and could maximize ecological and infrastructure benefits. The district used a combination of LIDAR and ground surveys to determine a plan for this project and bring it to life. The retention site will filter nutrients at the project site and reduce nutrient transfer into Lake Winnipeg. The project has the capability to effectively retain entire inflows of a 100-year flood event. It increases habitat and biodiversity within the watershed. It provides climate change resiliency to the watershed and its residents. And it also specifically addresses two goals and three actions from the Cook's Devil's Creek IWMP. First goal is to coordinate surface water management. It does that by assessing water retention requirements based on climate change projections. It also implements effective surface water management plans to store water for short-term retention. And it also implements water retention projects which reduce peak flows. It also works towards goal four, which is improving surface water quality. And it does this by implementing beneficial management practices to reduce erosion and nutrient transport in the watershed. This phase of the project is diverting water from one stem of the Edie Creek into one of the retention cells that are already existing. One of the key benefits to this is it will allow for 30 additional acre feet to be stored within this water retention site. Um, the idea of uh, allowing more water in these retention sites came from uh, the Cooks Creek integrated uh, watershed management plan. So this particular project, uh, the water comes from the east, approximately six or seven miles. It flows along the Edie Creek. We're taking kind of an overflow of Edie Creek and sending it north and then west into the retention cell that's directly behind me. So the process involved with the integrated watershed management plan is several community engagement meetings, stakeholder meetings, uh, really just trying to get a feel of what's important uh, to the communities uh, and to the people that we, we serve as a watershed district. So after several community meetings and stakeholder meetings as part of the IWMP process, uh, it goes to a review uh, and eventually all the information is uh, put in towards a plan um, and so there are site-specific uh, areas of the plan and this is one of those areas. And I'd just like to thank our funders for this particular project, the Conservation Trust as well as the Lake Winnipeg Basin Program, the Board of Directors of the Watershed District and our partnering municipalities. Projects like this wouldn't be happening. Their insight and knowledge of the local areas are crucial to watershed management plans.